Some pretty incredible breaking news coming out in the last 24 hours. Happening now across the United States could be a nationwide shutdown, and this is going to be unfolding due to cyber attacks against infrastructure systems in the U.S. coming from China. Now, we've been receiving these warnings from the FBI for several months that Chinese hackers had infiltrated infrastructure systems in the U.S. We had heard that there was about 24 of them. Then we received new updates that there are actually more, and they're saying significantly more, and also they're saying that they actually compromised these over the course of the last five years, some even longer, and they did not know. And now we're finding out, and they're saying it is at unprecedented scales, the likes of which we did not realize. Now, take a look at the headlines and all of these coming out in the last 24 hours as the FBI warns yesterday, Sunday, February the 18th, of what's going to be coming. Take a look at this. FBI Director Ray says, China, cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructures now at unprecedented scale. They're saying there is more than they realized, and this is essentially plans to shut down the entire nation nation and wreak havoc. Christopher Ray warns that the prepositioned malware could be triggered to disrupt critical systems in the United States. FBI director warns China's computer attacks are now at a scale greater than we'd seen before, as vulnerable critical infrastructure remains at high risk to be targeted. FBI warns Chinese malware could threaten critical U.S. infrastructure. Agency director Christopher Ray says Beijing hacking operations have reached a fever pitch, and FBI says China cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructure are reaching new levels. And again, all of these coming out in the last 24 hours. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest details, and I know this is not what we want to hear, but I believe that knowledge is power, and us knowing what's going on is half of the battle. So make preparations for you and your family should these unfold. And also, if you are interested, I've created a totally free guide step-by-step -step to prepare your family should there be power outages. As we've heard, airports could go down, electrical grids, water systems. This is totally free, linked in the description. All you got to do is enter your email, and this will be sent right to you. You. Now, also, if you missed it, we also have heard warnings from Russia coming as well. Stick around to the end for some updates on potential nuclear threats coming from Russia. But let's go ahead and dive right into the latest. And again, this might not be what you want to hear, but if you appreciate the updates, do me a quick favor, smash the like button. Just takes a second, helps out the channel a ton. To stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in and get you caught up on the latest. All right, so as always, link in the description below to this article that came out yesterday. I always cite the sources, put them on the screen, and read right from them, so that way you can see it's the latest. That The FBI director says that China's cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructure now at unprecedented scale. Now, the article says, As intelligence chiefs and policymakers gathered for the city's annual security conference focused on the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East, the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigations, or the FBI, urged them not to lose sight of another threat, and that is China. Christopher Ray on Sunday said Beijing's efforts to covertly plant offensive malware inside U.S. critical infrastructure networks is now at a scale greater than we'd seen before, an issue he has deemed as a defining national security threat. Citing Volt Typhoon, the name given to the Chinese hacking network that was revealed last year to be lying dormant inside U.S. critical infrastructure, Ray said Beijing-backed actors were pre-positioning malware that could be triggered at any moment to disrupt U.S. critical infrastructure. It's the tip of the iceberg. It's one of the many such efforts by the Chinese, he said on the sidelines of the security conference that has been dominated by questions over Ukraine and the death of the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. China, he had earlier told delegates, is increasingly inserting offensive weapons within our critical infrastructure poised to attack whenever Beijing decides the time is right. The FBI chief declined to elaborate on what other critical infrastructures had been targeted, stressing that the Bureau had a lot of work underway, so they're saying that a lot of them have been compromised, even more than they had initially thought. Ray's comments are the latest in a string of public warnings by senior Biden administration officials to animate their fears about China's advanced and well-resourced hacking prowess. Western intelligence officials say its scale and sophistication has accelerated over the past decade. Officials have grown particularly alarmed at Beijing's interest in infiltrating U.S. critical infrastructure networks, planting malware inside U.S. computer systems responsible for everything from safe drinking water to aviation traffic so it could detonate at a moment's notice, damaging cyber attacks during a conflict. The director has been prodding foreign governments in Europe and Asia to increase resources on the threat of Chinese hacking campaigns particularly protecting critical infrastructure. He described the response as gratifying and a step change from several years ago when some were still skeptical about the Chinese cyber attack threat. In California, Ray met with counterparts from the Five Eyes intelligence community, which encompasses the United States, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the UK. 
to share respective strategies for cyber defense. He has also traveled to Malaysia and India to discuss China's hacking campaign with authorities in both countries. I am seeing more from Europe, he said. We're laser focused on this as a real threat and we're working with a lot of partners to try to identify it, anticipate it, and disrupt it. The Netherlands spy agencies said earlier this month that Chinese hackers had used malware to gain access to a Dutch military network last year. The agency, considered to have one of Europe's top cyber capabilities, said it made the rare disclosure to show the scale of the threat and reduce the stigma of being targeted so allied governments can better pool knowledge. Beijing routinely denied any accusations of cyber attacks or espionage linked to or backed by the Chinese state and has accused the U.S. of mounting its own cyber attacks. But evidence of a Chinese state-backed program has been building in recent years, and the U.S. has charged a string of officers from the People's Liberation Army Cyber Unit with stealing secrets. Ray said the U.S. is particularly focused on the threat of pre-positioning, which some European officials have described as the cyber equivalent of pointing a ballistic missile missile at critical infrastructure. A report released this month by agencies including the FBI, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Agency, and the National Security Agency said that Volt Typhoon hackers had maintained access in some U.S. networks for five or more years. And while it targeted only U.S. infrastructure directly, the infiltration was likely to have affected Five Eyes allies. The Justice Department and the FBI took action in December after obtaining court approval to dismantle a botnet or network of hacked devices consisting of small office and home office or Soho routers. Mostly from Cisco and Netgear, the routers were vulnerable because they had reached so-called end-of-life status, meaning they were no longer receiving routine security updates from the manufacturers. Those attacks are now being amplified by artificial intelligence tools, Ray said. The word force multiplier is not really enough, he said. Machine Machine learning translation has helped Chinese security operatives to more plausibly recruit assets, steal secrets, and rapidly process more of the information they are collecting, the director said. They already have built economic espionage and theft of personal and corporate data as a kind of bedrock of their economic strategy and are eagerly pursuing AI advancements to try to accelerate that process, he said. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, we've got these threats coming from China, and in addition to that, we're also hearing about Russia as well. Now, if you missed the latest on this, we're hearing there is a nuclear threat in space. However, this is still classified information, so we don't have all the details on it. But essentially, they want to disrupt our satellites that could warn us about potential missile threats coming to the United States. And a lot of people are saying that this is a precursor for potential missile launches and war. Now, like I said, this just coming out in the past couple of days. And as more information comes out on this, I'll be sure to share here on the channel. But to get the latest on that, be sure to check out this video right Right here as I cover it in detail for you. But you guys, that is the latest. Thank you so much for joining me. I will keep you up to date and I will catch you in the next video. And again, if you want that free guide, it is linked in the description below for you. All you got to do is put your email and it's just a reminder of all the things that you can do to keep you and your family safe. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.